How to use and customize Google Map in a Flutter application. First of all, let's add the Google Map package inside our app. For the Android devices, first we need to set the main sticker version to 20 inside our build.gradle file. Then we need to go to main Android manifest in the Android folder and add our Google API key inside the application tag. For the iOS devices, we need to go to runner app delegate in the iOS folder. And first of all, import the Google Map, then add our API key here. Now let's get started and create our Google Map in a stack in the body of our app, which comes directly from the Google Map package. Then we have to specify the initial camera position, therefore we need to add our default latitude and longitude values. Then we can create our default location using our default latitude and longitude values. Now after reloading our app, you can see the Google Play is displayed in our application. After that we create a floating action button inside the stack to change the Google Map type displaying. Therefore here in the method, inside a set state, we check if the current type of the map is normal, we set to satellite, else we will set to normal back. And now we will set the current map type variable inside our Google Map here. After that we need to initialize our current map type variable to normal type here in the above. Now if we click here, on the floating action button, we see it will display the map as satellite. And if we click it again, it will display it as normal back. Next, we create another floating action button here to add maker for our default location. Therefore, we declare a set of makers here in the above and define it in our Google map. Then inside the add marker method, in a set state, using the markers variable, we will add a marker with a specific marker ID and then pass our default location here and after that we can define an icon for our marker and now if we click here in our button we see the marker is displayed in our default location the marker has an info window property which it will get a title and a snipped as its properties and it is used to show the details of the location if we click on the marker next we want to move the camera position to the new location to do this firstly here in our google map we will add the google map controller and for that we need to declare our google map controller here in the home page state then we create another floating action button to move to new location therefore inside the method firstly we define our new position and animate the camera using our google map controller to our new position with a specific zoom level now inside the city state we define a new marker with our new position then clear the previous marker from our set of markers and add our new marker here now we need to restart our app and if we click here in our floating action button you will see that we are moving to the new position which is the new york city we can even go back to our default location for that we need to create a new floating action button and define the go to default location method then inside the method first we get our default location using our default latitude and longitude values and animate the camera to our default position using the google map controller then inside the set state again we define a new marker for our default position then remove the previous marker and add this marker for now and now if we click here in our floating action button you will see that we are moving back to our default location